Good morning, my name is Carrie Dills and I thought I'd try something new and different today, which is to uh, try a screencast instead of a written tutorial blog. Uh, I frequently recommend that people use Firebug to help troubleshoot their CSS issues and um, I, people may not know what that means. So I thought well, I'm just going to do a quick screencast to show you what Firebug is. So first we're just going to do a little Google search. Uh, we go to get Firebug. It is a, I hate that, that's disgusting and it makes me want to call an exterminator, but at any rate, Firebug um, is created primarily for the Firefox browser, but there are also, um, you can use it with Chrome and I think even Safari, but this is where you're going to go, get Firebug, install it, and, uh, and then that's it, that's all you have to do. So Firebug is already installed in my browser and I want to show you a real life example of using it to figure out what's wrong with somebody's CSS. Um, to do that, I'm going to pop over to the Studio Press forums um, where people can ask questions on their Genesis Framework themes and the community volunteers come in here and offer up answers. Um, first I'm going to go to, I want to view some some forum topics that have not been answered yet. So find people that have not been helped yet. Um, I cheated and already came in here and picked out a post that I knew could be an easy answer because I didn't want to look terrible on my first screencast. So we're going to go to this guy, create an archive title. <clears throat> and John says, hi, trying to create, or excuse me, change a font size of the category archive title, does anyone know where this is in the CSS? He posts a link and tells us exactly what text he's trying to change. Well, John, you're in luck because I will show you where that is. So I'm going to open up John's link here in a new tab, and he wants to change the font size on the title that says Free Blues Guitar Lessons. So let's look at his page. There it is, Free Blues Guitar Lessons. Um, and notice I've highlighted that text. Now all I have to do is uh, give a little right click and I'm going to say inspect element with firebug and watch the magic. <laughs> so there it is. It actually brings up the CSS in this bottom window. Excuse me, it's got the HTML on the left panel and then the CSS on the right side. And for this element, free, free uh, blues guitar lessons, I can see um, that's this H1 element with class archive title, and it's already pulled up the CSS that's styling that. So right there, font size is set to 30. This is where it gets really cool. Um, let's set this to something absurd like 60 pixels so we can see it. Um, so I can change that real time in the browser and see, see my change. Um, so that's all we need to do. We need to tell John where that is. <clears throat> so I'm going to go over here, open uh, this link to the style sheet in the new tab. Oops, let me go back over here and copy that. Copy that. Okay, close down my firebug. So now I'm looking at John's CSS file. Of course, I can't actually make any changes to this, but I can, uh, I can look at it. So I'm going to open up my search box and just do a little search. There it is. That is the CSS um, that we were just looking at. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come over here and tell John, hey John, I guess you can see what I'm typing so I don't have to read it for, it, for you. Look for this, all right, so John, check this out in your CSS. You'll find the font size, change the font size to whatever you want. Boom. Let me know when John follows up via email. And that's it. Just in, just in a few minutes, able to, to look at his site and determine what CSS would be used to power that. Um, so that's, a, that's one way you can use Firebug. Or really, I guess that's the only way you can use Firebug because that's what it's meant to do. But, I mean, check this out. So you can go in here, we can add Let's say color is red. Yeah, I can preview that in the browser. Um, and 
whatever I hover on over here in the left hand side is going to show up in the right hand side. So let's say, let's go to his header and let's dig down. There's a wrap, there's a title area, widget area. I want to get to that menu and maybe change the size of his, um, his menu items. So, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so you can see how we can keep digging down and get to these individual elements. So if I click on the, uh, the actual link element there and then look over to my right, I can see in his CSS where those uh, font sizes are being specified. So he's got font size 15 and uh, let's, I don't know, let's just bump it up to 18, um, which clearly makes it too big for that space. But you can see how you can go in there and kind of real time preview uh, what's happening in your CSS and make changes. And once again, you're not actually saving any changes when you do this. It's just kind of a, a live preview. So whatever you would change here, you could then go back to your style CSS um, and make permanently changed. But that's it. That's Firebug. It's a cool little way to see what's going on in your code or help somebody else out in the forum with a CSS question. I uh, hope you've enjoyed. Thanks. Bye.